are touching your baby at the breast. Breastfeeding is natural and it's also a skill that can take some time and practice to learn. The key to successful breastfeeding is good attachment. If your baby is attached deeply to your breast, she will get more milk and breastfeeding will be more comfortable. This video will show how to deeply attach your baby and how to tell if she is attached well. There is a common misunderstanding that babies get milk by simply sucking on the nipple like a straw. If your baby is only attached to your nipple, she will get very little milk. But when she takes more of your breast in her mouth, your milk will come more easily. How you attach your baby to the breast is important for her ability to feed effectively and for you to make enough milk for her growing needs. A look inside the baby's mouth will show why. When the baby takes a big mouthful of breast with the nipple pointed to the roof of the mouth, the nipple reaches a comfortable area deep in the baby's mouth. With the nipple deeper in his mouth, he is able to suckle more effectively, triggering the milk to flow. Good attachment is the key to breastfeeding success. In contrast, in a shallow attachment, the nipple is centered in the baby's mouth, which is not wide open. The nipple lands under the hard roof of the mouth. As the baby sucks, the nipple gets pinched. This is painful and may injure the nipple. The baby is also unable to suck effectively and so cannot get much milk. What steps can you take to help your baby attach deeply? First, breastfeed in the first hours after birth. Healthy babies have instinctual feeding behaviors that help them find the breast and attach. Many mothers find that continuing this natural position in the early days and weeks makes it easy for their babies to attach deeply. Next, Start with a calm baby. Feed her whenever she starts to show signs that she's hungry. Notice her feeding signals. Moving her lips. Bringing her hand to her mouth. And turning her head from side to side. Now is the time to feed your baby before she starts to cry. Then hold your baby in a way that makes her feel secure and helps her feed most easily. Bring your baby to you, holding her close, facing and touching your body. Your baby's neck should be straight with her ear, shoulder and hip in line. This will make it easier for her to swallow. Many mothers make the mistake of trying to push their nipple into their baby's mouth or trying to attach the baby when the mouth is not wide open. This is not ideal because the nipple will end up just inside pressed against the hard roof of the mouth which is painful and doesn't let the baby feed as well. Instead, Lightly touch your nipple to your baby's upper lip. This will make her open her mouth. Be patient. Wait for her to open her mouth very wide like a yawn. Then quickly bring her towards you so she takes a big mouthful of breast. Pulling your baby in gently from behind her shoulders as she takes the breast 
can deepen the attachment. In the second example, the baby's nose is opposite the nipple. He opens very wide. His lower lip stays at the base of the areola and the nipple is aimed at the top of his mouth. The baby leads with his chin. The mother's hand behind her baby's shoulders moves him straight onto the breast. He attaches deeply and drinks well. Here are a few other points. If you hold your breast, be sure your fingers are away from your nipple so your baby has room to attach deeply. Here, the mother's fingers are too close to the nipple. They'll be in the way of the baby taking a large mouthful of breast. Like many mothers, you may worry that your baby cannot breathe easily while feeding. Pulling her in closer will move her nose away from your breast. How can you tell if your baby is well attached? First, observe your baby on your breast. Her mouth should be wide open instead of nearly closed. Her chin should be pressed into the breast, not away from the breast. More areola should be seen above the baby's mouth. Her lower lip should be turned out like a fish, not turned inward. Though in many well-attached babies, the lower lip is often hidden in the breast. Your baby's cheeks should be rounded, not sucked in. Also, if the baby keeps coming off the breast, she probably isn't well attached. Next, look to see if your baby is drinking well by observing the motion of her jaw. If she's drinking well, her jaw will drop distinctly as she swallows. The baby who is not getting much milk will have a continuous fast sucking pattern without pauses. And last, breastfeeding should be comfortable except for temporary tenderness in the first few days. You should not feel pinching, pulling or rubbing on your nipple. If breastfeeding is painful, your baby is probably not well attached. If your baby's attachment is shallow, gently take her off your breast by putting a clean finger in the corner of her mouth to break the suction. Now, notice the shape of your nipple. If the nipple is pointed, it was being pinched between the baby's tongue and hard roof of the mouth. In contrast, a nipple with a normal round shape was situated further back in the comfortable place in the baby's mouth. Attaching your baby well will get easier and more automatic with time and practice. By four to six weeks, your baby's head and neck control also will help her deepen the attachment on her own. It's important to correct shallow attachment because it will lead to less and less milk being produced by your breasts. As mothers notice their milk supply is less, they often start to give their babies other food. As the baby fills up on other food, she won't need as much from the breast. As she sucks less and less, the mother's milk supply will decrease further. Breast milk is the best nutrition for your baby. Learn how to attach your baby well. This will lead to good drinking and plenty of breast milk and no need to give your baby anything else in the first six months of life. Remember, breastfeeding should be comfortable. Your baby feeds from your breast, not from your nipple. If your baby is well attached, she will make more milk come.